Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? This is Monday and yeah, if you're new to this channel, I'm in Ems Cafe and let's get into today's video. Hi guys, before I get into today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already, and that notification bell, because it does help my uh, health a ribbon. I am seeing people watching my videos, but I'm not getting, um, what's that cat doing? Oh. <laughs> um, I am seeing people watching my videos, but like, uh, I feel like I'm not doing a good enough job, because I don't see as much likes. And it does help with, the, with my algorithm. <laughs> Because speaking that helps push out my videos to other people and hopefully I can help or someone can enjoy my videos. <laughs> Anyhow, I also in my description box at the end of the video when I to do my editing, I also have put my Amazon wish list. If you like to tweet my fairy babies or myself, you don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah, I have, I've only done that that way because I do not want to give out my address or any <clears throat> of my details. Yeah, and I haven't set up a PO box yet because it is quite a lot of money, and I'm not. I don't I just don't want to do it just right now, unless my views get a little bit better and my subscribers as well. Anyway, let's get into the day. So it is around about coming up nine o'clock, and I've got to go and see my CPN today. Let's see how that goes. It is a bit cloudy and yes, I did a bit of my coursework last night and uh, I still couldn't get my head around it so I just popped it away and I'll try again today. I have brought my desk into... Oh, that cat's gone out. Yeah, I put my desk back into my front room so... Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you, you can't write this if you tried. Oh, so packed up waiting to go. I'm a bit, I'm about 20 minutes early for my appointment. So I'm packed up, sat playing on my phone, playing um, a jigsaw because I've got into them and oh my lord, yeah, there's a lot of kitty ones on there. So I've, I've, I've actually finished them all. So I'm just sat minding my own business and <laughs> I didn't realise the door were locked, unlocked. And someone just got in and sat down. I'm like, excuse me, can I help you? Oh, sugar, sorry, wrong car. <laughs> I thought it was my mother's. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, God, please, God, guys. Is there anything else ever like that ever happened to you guys? Now, my son's done it to someone before. So, I had a blue Ford Focus uh, a good few years ago. And, obviously, I was parked up waiting for him coming out of the supermarket. And someone else had the same car, and he did it. <laughs> he climbed in, and this woman had a heart attack. So he was like, "Oh, sorry, <laughs> he got the same car as my mum." Oh God, he couldn't write this if he tried, could you? Oh my lord. Anyway, I'm about to go in because <laughs> it's took up my time. I, I just had to come on and laugh about it because if, if you don't laugh about things, you're gonna cry. Oh, I'm now home, guys, and what? I don't know what it is with my appointments, but I'm probably not the only one. But don't you ever feel drained after you've been to one? I'm obviously, that's just wiped me out. Now, I'm just going to have a cup of tea, and then Olivia is going to be doing some schoolwork. Well, yeah, I've got it all planned, so I will be going with it through with it, I meant to say. Does anyone else find why they get jumbled up with their thoughts and words? Because I swear to God, I don't know which what I'm saying. It sounds back to front, doesn't make sense, stuff like that. So, take come on. Oh, come in and cats are me. I had to go get some milk on my way home. I'm absolutely busy in Aldi. Anyway, let's get cracking on this cup of tea and uh, schoolwork. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so 
I don't know what I've said so far, but like, um, I thought I'd talk about life with mental health and fibro. Hmm, when them two come together, haha, <laughs> my body wants to shut down and I don't want to do a thing. So, living with mental health, I have done since I was a young child, not really got diagnosed until I was an adult, and obviously, past four years have been a, the four difficult ones I've had so far. So my visit, I have to visit my CPM every fortnight and then eventually it'll be probably once every three weeks, once a month and then gradually, hopefully, pardon moi, um, I'm burping because I've just had a lot of tea, uh, I will get discharged. But right now, I don't, myself personally, don't feel ready to be discharged. I know sometimes I do, but that's how my mind works. So, on a daily basis, my mind can go crazy. And, yeah, it's a bit dark in here, don't you think? But, mm, there we go. It's this arm. Let's chop it off and throw it away. But, no, I need it. Anyway, sorry. That's <laughs> my mind's going to be goody. Anyhow, so, living with mental health is challenging. And living with fibro as well can be challenging. And when you get that through the day and then you feel a little bit depressed and low and then you're in pain and then this, that and the other, your body doesn't want to do, no Millie, go away please, just give me a minute, you're not having a biscuit, you're not having, a, no you're not having my tea either, I've not finished it. These animals have got my life. Anyhow, so living with that, is, it, living with mental health is challenging because I go hour by hour right now because my mind just goes crazy and my mind just feels like, now let me know in the comments below if you're like this, even if you've not got mental health. I don't know if it's anxiety, I don't know, it probably is, but it's like someone switched on a radio in my head and it's a lot of people talking. Now I know I talk to spirits and stuff like that, but I can, I know the difference between spirits and I know the difference between my mental health and this, at the minute, Today is my mental health uh, because with spirits I can channel into that and yeah, it's hard to explain but I know it is and I think this is anxiety just playing games with me if you know what I mean, like let's just talk wind Kathy up today and then you throw tinnitus in top of that and oh, does anyone else support tinnitus? Oh, does anyone else, if you do let me know please because I don't know if I, I'm just weird, I probably am just weird, but I feel like sometimes my tinnitus plays games with me. Sounds weird, but like if a siren, an ambulance goes by, right loud, then my tinnitus copies that. If there's another noise like my smoke alarm, I think the battery needs changing right now, but I don't know because I think it's attached to the electrics, I'm not, I haven't got a clue. But that goes off so last night. That's how my ears go. Any kind of noise, my tinnitus wants to copy it. So yeah. And then when you got fibro, now right now I've just got my pain relief, so it's my pain relief. Uh, my pain relief. Uh, it's calmed down a little bit uh, for another probably a few hours, and it'll go. You need more. Um, but yeah. And then the fatigue and brain fog on top of that and then you got your mental health so when i obviously saw the doctor last time i just i took it personal i just i thought you were attacking me you know type of thing and i took it on and after i started feeling a little bit i'm like you know what it's probably right <laughs> i just didn't want to hear it at the time because i thought no there's something wrong um anyhow so Today, after seeing my CPN, I've let her know everything that's going off. I said, you know, it's not you, it's just me. I just I just feel like I can't. You all right? She's sulking because I'm not give her a bit big. Yeah. So life with, living with mental health can be a struggle on a daily basis because it's like you're fighting your mind to be okay. And your mind is like telling you, no, you're not all right. You need to do this. And then anxiety, so bad to grow up and blah, blah. And then you're like, oh, no, I won't do it. So then that makes your, your mind that has won. The mental health is won. And then top off your fibro and you're like, hmm, yeah, you're like that. 
and I'm feeling that way. I'm starting to feel like I'm because I've been drained from my appointment. Uh, it's took it out of me. My bones are cracking like crazy. Anyone else cracking up like me today? And not not talking about my mental health. I mean, physically, my men, uh, bleh, I can't speak. You see what I mean? Um, when your bones are constantly crack, 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 crack. I'm surprised I'm broke but I've been limb yet. I felt, did I tell you I fell? Oh my lord, that hurt and I felt embarrassed. <laughs> anyway guys, I think I'm gonna be leaving for now because I need to go and cut and I need to go and I don't know, my mind is going again. This is what it's like living with mental health because your mind is going it's up or down, near there and everywhere. And especially when you, you want to do something and you want it now, you know what I mean? Like my nursing, it's like, I want to be qualified now. I need it done now, blah, blah, blah. And then next minute, it's like, oh, God, I'm tired. I don't think personally I am going to end up getting qualified. I'm do, I'm just going as it is. I've got my little watch. I am trying to be determined that I, I want to do this. But realistic, I don't think I am. But, you know... If I don't, then I've got to watch. And I'll probably donate it. Only about a fiver. So I might just give it to someone on my Facebook. If you're a, not Facebook, YouTube. If you're a da, 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 subscriber and you're a nurse or in any other care. But personally, I don't think... I'm going to give it a bash. But with the research I was doing yesterday, I need this qualification, I need that qualification, I need A-levels, I need this and that and the other. And I'm like, I ain't got it. And then I do... Um, a DB thingy check, which I've got no criminal convictions, but then it's like an official thing, like your health. I'm like, oh, well, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Let me know, guys, if you're a nurse and it, will they accept me with mental health? Because right now, I know, I know I've been told if I want to do mental health nursing, I have to be uh, okay for six months. And at the minute, every six months, I'm going blip. But thank you anyway. I can't be nice. It's Sue. Sue left a really nice comment yesterday, and it really made my day. I got a lump in my throat. Like that. Oh. But anyway, guys, thanks. It was in a good way. Not not dissing them. I love it when you comment as well. Uh, I take it on board, and I like to comment back. I like to interact with you guys and makes my day anyway guys thanks again for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already subscribe and press the notification bell and i'll see you in the next video pardon me i'll see you later